Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog series this semester. I'm Destiny McFall and I'm interning at the Child Welfare League of America in Washington, DC. So the past couple of weeks have been filled with meetings that I've been participating in in regards to some modifications and content updates that we are doing to our Pride model of practice pre-service training that I've mentioned before in this vlog series. Um, what those meetings have really consisted in are first and foremost, getting the go ahead for those modifications and also including different departments to see what their roles will look like um, with those modifications and what the, what they will need to focus on in order to push those modifications through. I will actively be participating with Marcus, my supervisor at CWLA, to um, enhance some different content areas that we're working on. So I'm excited to start on that. Um, and another thing that I have been doing currently and that what I really wanted to focus on today is CAPTA. Um, so CAPTA is the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act. It's a law that was enacted in 1974, and it's really the basis of our child protection system here in the United States. It provides prevention efforts um, of child maltreatment so that these vulnerable children and their families can avoid the foster care system in the first place. Um, so what I've been doing and what CWLA has been doing um, is encouraging different members of Congress to support um, and pass a bill that will provide an increase in funding for CAPTA so that it can live up to that full potential that was hoped for initially when it was enacted. So what my role has kind of been um, is I have been meeting with Shaquita Ogletree. She is a member of CWLA and she works in the policy department. Um, so I've been meeting with her, learning more about CAPTA and this bill that they are hoping to get passed through for that increase in funding. And I've also been doing my own research um, and seeing the support that's already behind the bill. And I've also looked at different letters that they have sent to different members of Congress encouraging them to support this bill um, so that, like I mentioned before, CAPTA can live up to that potential and so that we can really focus on providing the best efforts in preventing child maltreatment in the first place. Another portion of that bill um, is surrounding COVID-19 and the impact that it's had on these vulnerable populations. So that's another part that we're hoping um, to get Congress's support on in order to pass that bill. So I've enjoyed learning about this a lot and I'm excited to start working on actually participating and helping to get this bill passed through. Um, and I'm excited to see what CWLA can offer me um, experience wise and getting more experience in policy, um, learning more about it because policy is not my forte, but it is very interesting to me so I am excited to learn more about this and to help out with these efforts. Of course, I will keep you guys updated and I will see you in the next vlog.